I want to know what's it like being a British person living in America. Yeah, really excited to get into this. Before we do, I appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. Let's get straight into this and see what it's like. Hello. Uh, so a question that I get asked quite often is, you know, what's it like being a British person living in okay. America? And it's sort of a hard question to answer in many ways because, you know, I've, I've lived here for 13 years. And so I always struggle to remember what it was like living in Britain as a British person. Oh, wow, mad. Uh, 13 years has done this that. this right here, right now, is my reality and has been for now well over. Do you know what's crazy to me is like he's been in America for a very long time. And it seems like his accent has not changed. Do you know what I mean? Like at all, bro. Yo, I feel like if I go to America, give me a year and I'll be talking Southern. <laughs> for a decade. But to the best of my ability, I can recall and think that, you know, being a Brit living in America is a sort of unusual experience in right. many ways. You do spend a lot of that early time, especially if you live in a kind of smallish city in Indiana where there aren't too many British people congregating. You will get quite a lot of questions about your accent. And okay. uh, I kind of liked that, to be Jesse. honest, um, as an introvert, because it was kind of an icebreaker, you know. That is true. That is very true. Because, listen, making a... The icebreaker is the hardest part of making a conversation, you know what I mean? Especially with someone that you don't know, right? So that is a very easy, good icebreaker. Boom. That's a strange accent right there. Where are you from? UK? Oh, interesting. And uh, and so if you're stuck for things to say and you don't want to resort to isn't the weather terrible again today, <laughs> it's sort of nice that people clock your accent. I can see how right. it would get annoying for a lot <clears throat> of people, but not for me. I, I really quite enjoyed it. And that would usually consist of Americans asking me to say words like tomato water. or water <laughs> or squirrel or things like that. Hey, that would get a little bit annoying, bro. Yo, the amount of times I've been asked to say bottle of water Yo, bottle of water. Bottle of water, bro. You happy now? Uh, basically, you're a performing monkey just for a little <laughs> bit. And that's that's fine. You know, I didn't get paid for it, sadly. I should say that since I've moved to Chicago, I don't really get those questions very often anymore. And I think okay. it's just down to the fact that Chicago is a bit more of a cosmopolitan area. You know, it's not so unusual to encounter somebody with an accent, uh, specifically in this case, a, a British accent. Right. So in many ways that's sad. And I have to think of other things now to say <laughs> How's uh, to the weather? people. And it, and it usually is about the weather. So I, you know, I've, I've regressed. But, you know, that isn't the entirety of the experience here. I think that um, a lot of Americans, when they speak to me, they're not asking about the accent as such. They might clock it. They might realize that I'm from England, um, but they don't take that uh, line of questioning any further. They might ask, though, about the history of my country or a specific episode right. within that history. Yo, I would be a terrible Brit, bro, in America. Because people would be asking me all these questions, bro, and I'd have no clue. Honestly, I think I genuinely know more about America than Britain. I think I do now. <laughs> so, yo, people asking me about British stuff? I don't know, bro. I'll, I'll be lost. Though ...about the history of my country or a specific episode within that history. One thing that was coming up a few years ago all the time was, isn't it extraordinary that they found King Richard III underneath a car park no American ever said car park, but you get the general picture. <laughs> and I responded with, yes, it is amazing. It is amazing. I'm I'm looking back at my country now with this newfound sense of, of kind of pride because I'm, oh, I'm okay. looking at it with these Americans. Uh, maybe more astounded oh, about a news event like that than I would have been had I lived in England, I think. And, you know... Well, that's true, because when I think about it now, I'm not really excited about it you know what i mean like what he's talking about like if someone brought a british history i'd be like oh yeah yeah it's all right you know what i mean i wouldn't be like but maybe if i lived in america and i was seeing it different eyes i'd be more prouder maybe i don't know i don't know that's hard to say without doing it so it still astounds me that they found a brutal dictator underneath a ford capri <laughs> 
But one of the obvious things and something that I talk about on my channel is not the sort of the thing that brings you together, but it's the differences, of course, right. uh, that make uh, course. living here as a Brit uh, quite confusing at times. Now, you know, when I moved here, I've said this before, I made it my goal, my mission, I think, in many ways to embrace the, uh, the lifestyle around me and the things that I encountered. But sometimes, you know, even in doing that, there was a sense of uncertainty. You know, you'd hear concepts and phrases that you've never heard of. Right. And these can consist, of course, of words, spellings, pronunciation. Yo, talking about American words, right? Watching these videos are starting to mess me up, bro, in this country. Because I've noticed and found myself so many times now saying the American word instead of the British word. Bro, it is getting out of hand. <laughs> A good example is yard. I was, I've started saying yard instead of garden. Bro, we don't say yard over in the UK. <laughs> but there's been quite a lot of other examples. I can't think of the top of my head right now, but I've noticed myself doing it. Like, I've actually have to, like, correct myself for, to say the UK word instead of the, the American word. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, bro. Yo, give me another year, and literally, I will, I'll, be, I'll just be talking American, dude. Never heard of. And these can consist, of course, of words, spellings, pronunciation, uh, but we could also be talking about food, as I do right. you know, routinely on my channel, but also just things to do with everyday life. I think it's a testament to just how widespread all of the differences are between our two countries that I've been able to make a living out of talking about them for six years. And I haven't stopped yet. There's still so much more to get to grips with. That's how many subject. differences there and is. And you could be forgiven for thinking that, oh, Lawrence has lived here for 13 years. He's he surely learned everything now. But I don't. I learn new things every day. Like Yo, that is true. He's talking about like has he's been in America for 13 years and he's still learning. Bro, you guys have commented on my videos saying that you learn on my videos. Like you guys comment, you learn more about America watching my videos than being in America. You know what I'm saying? It's so like, yeah, that's crazy to be fit. But that's just show goes to show how big and different places in America are, right? Because you guys are learning about places and finding new places through my videos, just watching videos on America. Bro, that's crazy, man. Like, it was only this year that I found out that my wife and Americans in general pronounce centrifugal as centrifugal, <laughs> which blew my mind. You know, I do because it's not a word is. I use every day for obvious <laughs> I've never reasons. Heard that word, bro. You know that kind of thing still comes up uh, to this day. So you never stop learning. Right. Uh, that's for of sure. course. But I would say this. I would say two things. Um, you know, enjoy it for what it is. You know, I encounter so many British people who move here who just sort of long for the things that they've left behind in Britain, even though you can just get them shipped here. It is more really? expensive to do that. Wait, like what? What are, you, what are you so upset about that they left behind in Britain? Other than family? Bro, I don't, like, I'm trying to figure the top of my head now, like, seriously, what would I miss? I'd miss my family. I'd miss an English breakfast, but I don't think I'd be too bothered because I got an American breakfast. Maybe I would crave fish and chips and Yorkshire puddings. Maybe. Granted. But I would just say, no, no. If you're going to live here, you might as well try to enjoy it. Right? So well, that's, of course. that's exactly what I do. And the other thing is, use your accent to your advantage. Americans incorrectly believe that I'm somehow intelligent, and that's been very <laughs> useful for selling this channel. But when they find out the truth, I'm on borrowed time. Yo, I want everyone to comment right now. Listen, because I'm sick of seeing it, right? Comment right now. Do you guys think I'm intelligent because of my accent? Say yes. You better say yes. Hey, I'm banning anyone that says no, dude. <laughs> Mostly, it's it's lighthearted. I don't I don't use it in a kind of vindictive or mean way. Um, I'm just very aware that when you know I speak to people, there's a certain connotation that comes with that, right? Uh, whether it's true or not, and in most cases, it's it's really untrue. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, you know, we, we joke about the sort of communication barrier between our two countries, but 
at least you're not learning a whole new language. That is and very so, true. You know, you are going to a place that's um, speaks English like Britain in terms of that. Yeah, it's not like you're going to go to America, you're going to be lost in the language. Like, you're going to be able to understand conversations. Bro, even in the UK, in certain conversations, you'll be talking and you won't understand what they've said because they're using slang, right? Words you've never heard, right? It's even happened to me. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I've said to my nephew, I was like, what? What is that word? <laughs> is, that, is that size of me getting older? <laughs> Bro, I don't like it. But, hey, that's, yeah. At least it's not a completely different language. You know, for all of its alien, it's not 100% alien. But you know what is 100% alien? The film Alien, which was brought to us, as it happens, right. by a joint British and American production crew. Oh, I don't okay, really cool. know why I'm mentioning this, other than to point out the fact that when Brits and Americans work together, we can produce greatness <laughs> and an even better sequel. So all that. Yo, is it crazy that I've never seen Alien? Is that crazy? to say stay tuned for my next video i'm lawrence brown you can but follow yo, me on twitter and very very good video from him again enjoyed that honestly i've said many times i would love to live in america it's always cool to check out videos on what it'd be like if i did live in america hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you give a thumbs up subscribe for more content you guys want to catch me live every single day i stream on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg i'll see you all in the next one peace